ABC 17 News at 6 on KMIZ starts now. A Columbia man is still behind bars tonight after he allegedly beat and held a woman and her three children hostage for eight days. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Marissa Holloway. And I'm Joey Parker. Police arrested Terrence Hartman on Tuesday on several charges, including kidnapping and domestic abuse. ABC 17 Sarah Masser Donar is looking into the signs of a potential abuser and talked to Hartman's neighbors about him today. And Sarah, you talked to people who said he'd only been there for about two months. He was only here for about two months, Marissa, and we reported last night that neighbors said they saw the victim and her children here at his house frequently. And today I learned that the neighbors didn't really notice anything obviously aggressive about him until they learned about the hostage situation. Then they said that they did notice that there were some signs and experts say it's those signs you have to look out for before it's too late. Terrence Hartman is facing child abuse and domestic assault charges after allegedly holding a woman and her two children hostage in his home on Greeley Drive in Columbia. Residents on the street told me when I went out there today that the house seemed quiet over the eight days Hartman allegedly beat the victims and held them hostage. My daughter lives here. Okay. And um, she works, I work at night, she works during the day, so she was here one night and mm -hmm. she just heard something one night. So, other than that, we really didn't hear anything. The victim told police she was in a relationship with Hartman. She and her children planned to stay the night last week, but when they tried to leave, Hartman allegedly wouldn't let them. The National Coalition Against Domestic Violence lists several red flags that indicate a possible abuser. Those could include possessiveness, a bad temper, or extremely controlling behavior. I, now that everything's come out, I see what I saw, mm -hmm. uh, like the controlling behavior. He wouldn't let the kids and um, his wife or whatever come outside or whatever. If they were out and we came out, he made everybody go in. So okay. yeah, I didn't pay it any attention then, but now I see it. On our website at abc17news.com, I've put some resources for people who might suspect someone they know is in an abusive relationship or if someone is in an abusive relationship, those resources are online. Reporting live here in Columbia, Sarah Masler-Donar, ABC 17 News. Sarah, thanks. Hartman has since pleaded not guilty to more than half a dozen charges, including kidnapping and child abuse. He'll head back to court in September.